remember this video this my my most viewed video 15,000 views uh, which is crazy considering I'm not really getting those types of views anymore <laughs> this video is super outdated and I hate this video so much uh, you could see I mainly hate it because it was rendered at 240p uh, and a lot of people did not like that um, yeah so put in a thing right here a pinned comment a couple months ago and some people wanted me to make a new version so that's exactly what I'm gonna do all right so you want to play Super Mario 64 EX co-op and you don't know how uh, so it's actually extremely simple so the first thing you want to do is join the discord server I'll have a link to that in the description and then you would want to go to the how to play channel and it basically has everything you need here so you want to get this one right here so you click on it and then you press continue to download now see I already have it but I'll just download it again as you can see that was pretty fast so double click open up and it says ROM found but if the ROM was not found there would be a button that says like look for ROM or something and then um, then your file explorer will pop up like this and then you would just go to where it is right here and then you would just like select it and then it would find it so once you're done with this you would press compile now there's a rendering option it's extremely recommended to do OpenGL DirectX is less tested mouse controls don't work but it might work on old machines so if you're not if you basically if you do OpenGL and it doesn't work at all and it like just shows a white screen like it says here then just use DirectX but you will get less features so I'm gonna go with OpenGL and as you can see it's now doing this grab a coffee this will take like 20 or something minutes Alright, so that took kind of a long time, but it is completed, so now all you gotta do is press play, and it should open it up for you. Just for future reference, um, the EX Co-op folder um, is will be in the same exact folder as the Co-op compiler, so if you just open up that folder, it will be in this little EXE file right here. So then you basically just open that and then there it is. There is the game. All right, so now let me show you guys how to host and join. This is so much simpler than uh, how it used to be with our admin. So in order to host, you just press host. You can do co-op net, add a password to make it secret for just your friends. You can do direct connection, which is basically just our admin. And then you could do settings, you know, change a bunch of stuff. Uh, but now, just press host. And there you go, you're in the game. So now, how do you join a game? It's extremely simple. So, all you gotta do, press join. You could press a private lobby, enter a password. You could do direct connection, which is basically just our admin. Or you go to the public lobbies. Look at all of these cool, random, just mods, modded stuff. Look at all these modded games. Where are you? Here it is, look. If I join, it'll load up all the mods that are installed. And look at me, look. I'm right here. And now I could kill myself to death. It's literally that simple. And then you can stop posting like that. 
now I'll have to close the game for this all right so now basically in order to get the mods all of the mods are in the discord server they are in co-op mod releases this part right here you could just scroll you could find whatever the hell this is uh and yeah so let's start with the dynos packs so i mean i guess because this guy's here you would just find it as you can see it says dynos i now press the download button continue to download and i just wait for it to download that was fast and now you see right here do not open up this folder just keep it like this go into your sn64ex co-op folder go to the dynos then go to packs now drag this folder into here boom that's all you have to do now just open up the game boom there he is he's enabled by default but you can just go to options player no no it was display the dynos packs you could just turn them off or if you're in game you could just pause press r it's right here and then you could just turn it on and off if you want it's that simple it's literally that simple i cannot stress to you enough how simple this is so now what about mods and rom hacks these are literally like the exact easy it's the easiest it's so freaking easy like i still can't stress enough so you can probably see how extremely unorganized this is it's just the most random stuff i young sheldon huh uh it's just extremely disorganized um so basically all you got to do if you want to find something specific instead of scrolling up forever you press the search bar press in colon and then in colon co-op dash mod and then right here co-op mod releases not just search up what you want i want a rom hack so i'm going to just search up rom hack look at all these rom hacks how about invasion of chakia yeah let's do this one so you press the download continue to download and that's basically it now you just kind of wait a little bit while that is downloading let's also search up a mod i want the odyssey mario move set so i'm just going to search up odyssey boom here it is i can now this one has a little download here button so i'm gonna just press that boom it's also downloading while this is downloading you can see this is my retroid pocket 4 pro very cool device this is a android based handheld and i am playing smcc4 ex co-op on here look at all these people it's so freaking cool i can move around and stuff there's even some touch controls if i do this you know if you guys want me to teach you guys or do another tutorial on how to do this for mobile i will be very glad to teach you guys just tell me down in the comments below and if enough people ask for it i'll be happy to make another tutorial now that that download is done let's do both of them at the same time all right so first let's start with the mod the mod and rom hacks both go in the exact same spot this mods folder all you got to do drag and drop boom drag and drop and boom it's that easy so now you open the game again and you can see how it says loading mod and stuff all right so now you host in order to activate the mods you go mod there it is omm rebirth version 1.3 let's enable that rom hacks invasion of chuckia how about i turn on that one too and then host give it a second boom i am here look at how cool this is oh shoot oh that's oh so yeah and then look there's cappy too you can see look boom there's cappy so that loaded in too isn't that wonderful 
Whoa, look at me go. So now, I can also turn on this and have a complete abomination running around. It's literally that simple. I cannot stress to you guys enough how simple this is. Um, the easiest way is to just use the search bar and then like Luigi's Mansion 64 and then just see if you ha if it has what it has. See, it's right here. So yeah, that's literally it. It's that simple. Uh, but before you guys go, before you guys go, um, I've wanted, if you guys remember these beautiful live streams that I used to do, y'all remember these? These were so much fun to do. Um, if you guys want me to live stream and to join my live streams, um, let me know in the comments if you guys want that. Considering that school, the school year is almost over, I'll have a lot of time during summer to live stream as well. So, yeah, and join my Discord server. Um, currently, it's kind of dead. There's not really that many people that are online or any people in the server in general, but y'all can change that. And I have this little upload section. Y'all can know whenever I upload or whenever I go live, I will ping here. Uh, I did see, look, whoa, I'm live. I will ping you guys. So that you guys will never miss a live stream if I do SM64EX co-op. Um, so yeah, that's about it. And have some fun.